This is an Orange Pi. The Orange Pi is a PC. It's an open source single board computer. It can run various Linux operating systems like Android, Ubuntu, and Debian. With this device, I'm gonna to try to mine the Varus coin. There's lots of people buying secondhand phones on Amazon and eBay, but that's in the United States and they have a way lower price point than we do up here in Canada. I was on the Cloudico website looking at different devices that can mine the Varus coin, and I noticed that they had these Orange Pies. Now the cost for the Orange Pi is about 150 bucks if you're buying it on Amazon, which is not too bad considering it's a full PC and it has a lot of different uses. But what I'm really interested in is the Rockchip RK3588S 8-core 64-bit processor. Now that new chip absolutely destroys this Raspberry Pi device, which I might even try out later because mining on any device, no matter what it is, it's most likely gonna raise the temperature of it. Uh, so to keep the chip cool, I picked up this Geek Pi fan that I saw a lot of people talking about. And when you purchase this fan, it also comes with a plexiglass base. So if you can see this, there's a nice gap between the board and the plexiglass for some airflow. There's also a gap again between this heat sink and the processor itself, uh, which is helping cool the device down. All right, so now that we have the Orange Pi device installed, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is get a micro SD card, like this one right over here. This is a 32 gig Samsung. I'm really any SD card is gonna work, but I'll link some options for you if you're looking for one. And once we have the software written on that card, we have an SD slot right over here, and we're gonna pop it in and boot it up. In this video, I'm running over these steps fairly quickly. What I'll do is I'll also drop a detailed guide if you're looking at setting this up and I'll do it step by step so you can follow it for yourself. If you're interested in mining Varus using a phone, check out Paperclip's YouTube channel. He's done several different devices and goes in depth setting it up and configuring them. All right, so we're gonna go to the orangepie.org website. We're gonna go over to the downloads page. Inside the downloads page, you wanna find our device. We're gonna select that. And then what we're gonna do is download the Ubuntu image. There was an issue with me downloading the image file at first, but now that I have it downloaded, I'll also make sure I host it on my blog just in case someone else has problems getting it. Once you have this image downloaded, you wanna go ahead and burn this onto your SD card. You can use a tool like Rufus or Belina to get that on there. I'll make sure I link some options for you. So now that we have the software written on this micro SD card, I'm gonna go ahead and install it inside my Orange Pi device by just simply inserting it and it clicks when it's in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna power up this device and we're gonna use a USB-C cable. I actually have this cable that shows the wattage. So when I plug it in, you can see how many watts it's taking and it's not very much. Okay, there's a couple things I'm gonna be plugging in. First one is gonna be the ethernet cable. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in over here on this port, and then we wanna add power. So it's booted up and you can see currently right now, two watts. All right, so now I'm gonna jump on my computer. I'm gonna log into it and configure it. So we're using PuTTY to SSH into the device. That's one of multiple ways that you can connect to it. This is the way I chose to connect to it. And what I'm gonna do is run a few commands here to install CC Miner. Once you have CC Miner, it's just a matter of putting in your pool information, your wallet information, and then rebooting the device. Once the device is rebooted, you can then go into the pool and make sure it's connected properly, and then you can see your hash rate. Once again, I'll be dropping a detailed guide if you want to follow these steps for yourself. Mining on a mobile phone is a lot simpler. There's fewer steps involved to get this up and running. So you have an extra phone laying around and you want to experiment, you can check out this video right over here, and I'll walk you through the steps of getting one of these up and running. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one.